Hi, welcome to my video on using the Procreate app to help you with your drawing accuracy. First, of course, you have to begin your drawing, and uh, this drawing is speeded up a bit. Um, I'm drawing a portrait, so I usually begin with the eyes, and once I've finished both eyes, I will begin using the app to check my accuracy. So I'll uh, eyeball, constantly measure, uh, make little tick marks, measure those marks just by using my pencil or eyeballing them. Uh, fill in the eyes. And uh, once I check the eyes, then I, oh, I guess sometimes I do go down to the nose. And knowing full well that I usually kind of mess this one up. Okay, so I'm ready now to check the drawing in the Procreate app on my iPad. When I open up the Procreate app, I hit the plus sign, and I usually choose screen size for my canvas size. Then once it opens up the canvas, I hit the wrench, which is the actions layer, and I say import image. I want to import my background image. so. I need to navigate to my source. It's in my photos, of course, and I'll need to find the uh, actual image that I'm drawing from. Here it is. Make it large enough that uh, it'll be easy to manipulate. Just pinch and drag with your fingers. Now go to the Layers button and hit the plus sign to add the layer for your actual drawing. To get your drawing, you'll need to go to the wrench, which is the actions, take a photo. You're going to use the camera now, put it over top of your picture that you've been drawing, and if you like uh, the photo that you have taken, hit use photo, and it then brings your photo in as a layer on top of your original picture. Now you're going to have to make this layer more opaque, I mean more transparent. So you need to hit the adjustments button and then hit layer opacity. There's a blue bar that appears at the top that you can drag with your finger. I usually take it down to about 50 percent. Now here's where I make my biggest mistake. I forget then to go from the opacity button over to the selection tool. You do need to go over and select just that layer. Now you're going to move it around with your fingers um, putting the eyeballs in place. Make it larger, smaller, adjust it so that the eyeballs work. You pretty much aren't going to mess up the eyeballs so they can be your reference point to start. Um, now I can see that I've gotten the nose off a bit but since this is just a sketch I'm probably going to live with it and not make a big adjustment. Eh, if I manipulate move it around. Notice I had to turn it because I didn't have my drawing tilted as much as her head is actually tilted. So I can see what adjustments I need to make and I go back to drawing. Now my nose was pretty accurate as far as distance. Um, I'm going to go put in the mouth now and make a few more lines to uh, indicate the sides of the face and where the hair is. I, I can then use um, those lines to make adjustments for all those other areas. Now, I'm only making a couple of um, adjustments using Procreate with this particular drawing, but you might have to make adjustments all along the way if you want to really make sure you're accurate. So now I go back to my iPad. I, I can turn that layer off that I had by hitting the little white button and hit the plus sign to get another layer for my new photograph. I'm going to hit the actions and take a photo. I need to take a photo of my newer drawing. Just took a photo. Use that photo. Now I need to change the opacity by hitting the adjustments. Layer opacity. Drag my blue bar down to about 50%. Don't forget to hit the selection tool. 
Yeah. Now I can manipulate that layer and make my adjustments. It's not too far off. Um, so I enlarge it a little bit more. I can see where I'm off. I'm okay with the eyes being a little too large. They're large anyway. And I can see I, I really got the side of the face. The angle is off. Although the chin distance is okay. My neck mark was incorrect. Uh, I had the lips too big. Uh, the, the upper lip. So I know that I'm going to go back now and make those adjustments. I can look at my iPad um, as I'm making those adjustments on the paper. Here's my completed drawing. Um, and the, now I'm going to compare it with the original photograph and see how well I did. You can see I, I messed up the neck lines a little bit, but the rest of it's pretty accurate. And for a quick sketch, I'm okay with it. You might want to repeat this process of drawing and bringing it into Procreate and then making adjustments um, over and over again to make sure you really have an accurate drawing. One thing I do want to mention is how important it is to line up the side of your paper with the side of the iPad screen so that you make sure you're really taking um, a picture straight on and not at an angle or else it's going to skew um, the accuracy of your drawing.